In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to install Windows 10 on VMware Workstation Pro. Before we begin, make sure VMware Workstation is already installed on your computer and you have a Windows 10 ISO file ready. I already have the ISO downloaded, so let's get started. Step 1. Create a new virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation Pro. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Keep the default option, Typical, selected and click Next. Choose I will install the operating system later, then click Next. Select the guest operating system as Microsoft Windows and choose Windows 10 x 64 as the version. Click Next. Here, you can change the virtual machine name and location if you want. I'll change the name, but will keep the default location. Click Next. If you want to increase the disk size, you can do that here. Click Next. Now click Finish. Step 2. Configure Virtual Machine Settings. Before powering it on, let's edit some settings. Click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Go to the Memory section and increase the RAM to 4, 6, or 8 GB, depending on how much RAM your system has. This will help Windows 10 run smoothly. Next, go to Processors and change the number of processors to 4. Tick the Virtualize Intel VTX option. This option allows nested virtualization, which means it lets you run virtual machines or virtualization-based features inside this VM smoothly. Now go to CD slash DVD section, select Use ISO Image File, and browse to upload the Windows 10 ISO we downloaded earlier. Now go to Network Adapter. The default adapter is NAT, which allows Internet access. That's fine, we will keep it as it is. But we also need a second network adapter for our local virtual lab. So click on Add, select Network Adapter, and choose Custom, VMNet1, Host Only. This adapter will be used for local communication between virtual machines, while NAT will still allow internet access safely. Once everything is done, click OK. Step 3. Start the installation. Click Power on this virtual machine. Click on the virtual machine, then right-click and press Enter to boot. Then select Windows 10 Setup 64-bit and press Enter. Windows will start loading files. This may take a moment. Leave the language settings as default and click Next. Click Install Now. Click I don't have a product key. Now here choose Windows 10 Pro and click Next. Accept the license terms by ticking the box, then click Next. Choose Custom, Advanced. Click Next again to begin the installation. The installation will take some time and the machine may restart several times. Just wait until it finishes. Step 4, Windows Setup. Leave the Region section as default and click Yes. Click Yes. Skip this. Now wait some time until it finishes this process. Windows will restart several times, so be patient. Now here, we want it for personal use, so select Setup for personal use and click Next. We don't need any unnecessary processes, nor need to connect our account to it. So click Offline Account and then click Next. Select Limited Experience and click Next. Type a username and click Next. Set up a password for this. Confirm the password by typing it again. Now you have to create security questions for this account. Choose any three questions and write their answers. Once done, click Next. Uncheck these all options because we don't need them in our virtual lab. Then click Accept. Skip this. Click Not Now for any unnecessary options. Now, wait some time for Windows to complete the setup. It may take several minutes, so be patient. Windows 10 is ready to use. Step 5. Assign a static IP address. Since we selected a custom network adapter, we need to assign a static IP address. Open Network and Internet Settings from the taskbar. On the left side, click on Ethernet. Then click Change Adapter Options. Select Ethernet 1, right-click and select Properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4, 
Then click Properties. Select Use the following IP address. Now enter your IP address and subnet mask according to your virtual network plan. Click OK, then click Close. Final test. Ping the host machine. Now let's check if the virtual machine is connected to our base computer. Open command prompt inside the virtual machine. Type ping and your base machine IP address and see if it is pinging or not. As you can see, it's pinging successfully. That means everything is working perfectly. And that's it. Your Windows 10 virtual machine is now ready to use. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more practical cybersecurity and virtualization labs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.